Mayor. ¿Qué pasa? I see you on the YouTube. You see us on YouTube? Yeah, I see you. Godzilla, make it this, make it that. Ah, look at this. I'm a celebrity. I see, I, I see all the videos. Mikey yeah. Pipes in person. Look at this. Yeah. Nice to see you. YouTube, bro. Okay. Stay safe. Yeah. We need Stay a safe. Comment. Yeah. We're giving away a veto pack today. Okay, Extra large. You. Yeah. I see you. I see you, bro. <laughs> We're over at Lowe's. I had to pick up some uh, new BX. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. It's not BX. Uh-uh. It's AC cable or MC cable. I don't know. Uh -huh. What do you electricians call BX? Yeah. It's BX. Come on. Okay, technically, maybe it's not BX, mm -hmm. but it's got a ground. So I call it BX cable. What's wrong with calling it BX cable? But look at this. Mikey Pipes is becoming a celebrity. <laughs> Coming out of, out of Lowe's, yep. a subscriber, she gives me a huge shout out. Yep. He watches all the videos. Gotta love it. Yep. Gotta love it. Celebrity Crazy. status. Celebrity Crazy. status. Crazy. If I got this kind of status at 11,000 subscribers, oh my God. Yo, what is gonna happen when we have 100,000 subscribers? People are gonna stop me in the street and like stop bowing down to St. Mike. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're not going to be able to come outside, man. I'll have to lock myself up. I'm, I'm going to have to take the wrap off the truck. It's crazy. Right, people are just going to be following me, yeah. chasing me down. Like, Mikey Pius, give me an autograph. Give me an autograph. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. Sure. That was nuts. All right. Stay tuned. Great content coming up. All right. It's me, Mikey Pipes. You guys are in for a real treat today. A real treat. You guys are going to be binge watching this, this episode over and over and over again. Why? Because today I am going to explain the differences and what you should do when your tanked water heater fails. You know, as a homeowner, when you have you need you have a, some some kind of means of making hot water. And in most cases, it's a tank. This is a box that contains an AO Smith 50 gallon gas fired water heater. But that is not your only option. When you heat water, you can have a tankless water heater, you can have an indirect water heater, um, and that's about it. Indirect, tankless, and tanked. And different fuel sources, of course, with each. Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss this. This is the fastest way of draining a tank water heater. Two nipples, valve, pump, hose. Plugged in? Yeah. That's closed. Here we go. That's how we do it. Just like that. Alright, I'm not gonna unfortunately not gonna be able to get that much video downstairs, but when it's time to replace your water heater, uh, there are two factors to consider. Should you stay with a tank water heater or go tankless? Now there are benefits and cons to both. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. As you can see, we have three quarter inch unions on both sides, the cold and the hot, a hot water side. This is our four inch flue and we're draining. My guess is disconnected as well. Another thing, when your plumber comes to replace your water heater and tells you, hey, listen, we're gonna open up the faucets and turn off the water to the house, um, don't go behind their back and turn the water back on because your wife needs to take a shower. Don't they know that the plumber's here because the water heater is getting replaced? Oh my God. So the, it, you know, like this was closed when I first got here anyway. I closed that, but all the water was coming out of there and flooded the whole place out. I, I swear, some people, I, I don't get it. I really don't. So many of you have commented on previous jobs about the lack of dielectric unions, all right? I'm in the Long Island, New York City area. We don't use it, but I typically put a brass female adapter on my nipples coming out of the water here. Getting the job done. The Milwaukee M18 Force Logic. 
we hit 50,000 subscribers by May 1st. One lucky subscriber is gonna win that bad boy right there. All right, one of the first things to consider is what you have now. If you have a tankless water heater, this is kind of a moot, a very moot subject. Don't even bother watching and give, give me a thumbs down because uh, you really should be watching this. This video is for those who have a tanked water heater and what the options are uh, when it comes time to re for replacement. So the customer in this example had an A.O. Smith 40 gallon gas fired water heater that was approximately 15 years old and he hasn't been flushed on an annual basis uh, to clean out all the sediment at the bottom of the tank and the pilot goes out and he can't relight it. So he needs a new gas control valve. Um, 15 years old, let's weigh in the cost. Do we make a repair or do we replace? For sake of argument for this video, we replace. So now, what are the choices? If you've got a gas-fired furnace, your choices are basically another tank or tankless. You don't have the, the choice of having an indirect fired water heater, which utilizes a hydronic boiler, for example, and sometimes a steam boiler, but that's just too messy. Uh, if you had a, a hydronic boiler, you can set up the boiler with an additional zone, right? And this zone will be the tank. And the tank will act as the zone with its own aqu aquastat, not a thermostat, thermo is air, aqua is water, right? It will have an, aqu an aquastat on it. And when the tank temperature drops and it reaches that low set point, it closes the circuit, turning on the circulator, firing up the boiler to heat the tank. It is the second most efficient way of heating. Tankless water heaters are the most efficient way of heating. All right, so first thing to consider is tank or tankless. Um, a tankless is gonna involve a higher, typically significantly higher uh, initial cost of investment. Uh, not only are we taking out a tank and putting on a box that hangs on the wall, we have piping um, considerations. You know, the domestic hot and cold water has to be rerouted. The gas piping has to be rerouted. Um, the exhaust piping is also another major consideration. You know, if you're putting in a, a condensing uh, tankless water heater, you know, we're directly venting outside the house. If we're putting a non-condensing uh, water heater in, uh, we're gonna utilize a chimney, for example. Um, and there's also outdoor applications as well, but for sake of this, this video and, and just the transition of this video, uh, I'm not in, an, in a climate where outdoor water heaters exist. You know, if you're down south, yes, they'd make exterior um, gas-fired, you know, tankless water heaters that just vent right outside. So those are the two things. That's the first thing to consider. Uh, the initial cost of investment is significantly more than just replacing a tank. Number two, space requirements. Obviously, if you have a tank like this, if we put in a tankless water heater, you're going to gain space. So that's more of a pro, right? Um, but the drawback is the initial cost of investment. And at the end of the day, it all, it all comes down to cost. Now, the question is the cost savings overall. I said, if you have a 75 gallon water heater, you know, in about five years, typically that tankless water heater will start paying for itself. However, when you factor in into consideration required annual maintenance, and if you hire a professional to do it, obviously there goes your savings. Literally, I'm calling a spade a spade. Um, but if you do it yourself, in five years, if you had a 75 gallon water heater, and again, these numbers apply to my ge uh, geographic location. I am in New York, Long Island. We pay one of the most expensive energy rates in the country. So the, the pros are energy savings, more money in your pocket, but you have the added expense of required annual maintenance. Because these little boxes that hang on the wall, they have millions of components inside of them. Well, not millions, hundreds of components inside of them with sensors, and you know, you'll have scale building up inside and you'll have to descale it or add a descale, which you'll also have to replace, flushing out the heat exchanger, things like that. And there are videos on my channel about how to do that. Um, if you do it the right way, the average mechanically inclined homeowner can, can take care of that. So number one is the cost factor, the pros, you know, the significant in, in, uh, increase of the initial investment. Number two, space. You'll gain a lot of space if you take out a tank like this and put it a tankless. Uh, but number three, the, the benefit of saving energy, but then the 
pro the con is required annual maintenance. With a tank, for example, you know, to flush it out, you can hook up a garden hose to the bottom, right there. See that, that drain right there? And you're gonna let that run for, you know, 15, 20 minutes until it's clear. That's basically about it. So that's my two cents on what you should do if you need to replace your water heater and the options that are involved. Any questions, drop them down in the comment section down below. Mikey Pipes love you. If you enjoy this content, support the channel by subscribing. Saint Mike commands you to subscribe. Subscribe now if you haven't done so already. We're trying to get 50,000 subscribers by May 1st, 2021. Thank you, God bless, and if you're down in South in Texas, please stay warm. Be well. Yo, Godzilla. Sorry. That was not even an hour. My food is still warm. Your food, your Chinese food is still warm. <laughs> Listen. Been done. You know, and we're professional. Mm -hmm. The guy was thanking us. Yep. The guy was thanking us, like, thank you so much. You came out here in, in an effing blizzard. And the comp, the plumber that I normally use, which name I'm not gonna mention, wanted hundreds, hundreds of dollars more than what we installed it for, which I feel is a very fair and competitive price. I'm not discussing pricing, but you know, for, for my company, I know what things cost. I know what my competitors charge. And we're not really competitors. You know what? There's no competition amongst, you know, the brotherhood, you know? But another company that he's been using for 30 years, he said, couldn't come out until tomorrow and wanted... Almost a, double. I want to say almost double. No, it was hundreds of dollars. But don't let's not mention the price, but it was hundreds of dollars more. Let's say about... 30% more. Yeah. So... Anyway, you know, I like to deliver professional quality service. I don't like to. I, I strive for it. You know, and if I'm not going to do it that way, I'm not doing the job, right? Because I'm not getting out of bed, you know, because I'm doing it the right way, Mikey Pipes way or no way. That's how I roll. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Stay tuned for more fresh and exciting content from Mikey Pipes and Godzilla. You know, less than an hour later, I started that water heater. His food is still warm. Yes, sir. And it's 25 degrees outside. 25 degrees outside. All right, guys. Talk to you later.